I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you going to keep yapping or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Gal Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. 
The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a Zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. Well, hey, bro, peoples, this is Sonic7832. And welcome to a brand new LP on Jack and Daxter for the PS2, but I am playing this on the remastered version for the PS3. So you might be asking, or well, wondering, what the hell is a Jack and Daxter? Aren't those, aren't they those guys from places in All Stars Battle Royale? And well, I'll respond with, yeah, but back in the early 2000s, these guys were a really big thing. They were one of um, the PlayStation 2's killer apps. They had, they had three games, no, four games on the PS2, and all of them were actually really good. So, I'm playing this on the PS3 Remastered, which you can easily pick up for maybe like $10 at this point, because this the remastering version came out three years ago. So, finding this for cheap is like very easy. So, Jack and Daxter could easily be described as a basic collect-a-thon platformer. So, Jack could pretty much do all the basic things. He could, um, I, I want to say run, actually no, this is more like a jog, but his top speed is pretty pathetic. He could punch, spin, jump, he could bash... He could spin in the air, mid air to get more um, clearage, and he could roll. He could wait. It, there we go. He could um, jump roll, and other than that, yeah, that's really all Jack could do. He could collect those little egg things you saw there. They're called precursor orbs, and he, well, he could also punch at me. So, whatcha? Nice. So yeah, Jack is the guy. Daxter is his. Well, according to the game, this guy's an um, Daxter's an Otzel. But I don't know. Actually, I can see where I can see why he's an otter. It's like a cross between a weir, um, a weasel and a uh, uh, blah, an otter. Is that cell. is a power cell, as Kira just said. Kira is that girl that Jack and Dax just like that were staring at what, um, right before we into the portal. She is basically I want to say Jack's love interest, but I don't know. This game series keeps reinventing itself so much that I don't even know who's technically a um, love interest or not. And well, uh, yeah, that just happened. The loading screen just um, interrupted Jack and Daxter's um. Which I'm gonna call uh, victory dance. Okay, yeah, let's go. Okay, so yeah. Other than that, that's basically the basis for Jack and Daxter. Now, if you weren't really paying attention to the opening cutscene, you should know that basically Jack and Daxter, well, are these two people living on this island, and they went to this place called, I believe it's called Boney Island. I, I missed the island. Missed the island. That's what it's called. Yeah, and um, apparently Daxter fell into this um into a pool of something called Dark Eco, and as a result, he is now transformed into this otter slash weasel otzel. But yeah. So now he's transforming that. Now our main goal is to pretty much save um, Daxter. But if you also saw back in Misty Island, there was um, a plot between these um, evil guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna call them evil guys because I, to be honest, I really forgot what their names are. They are never really mentioned in the story. Well, I'm I'm getting, I'm jumping ahead, but they're they're like basically never mentioned in the, um, the series ever again. And yeah, if you collect all the um, scatter flies in the area, you get a free power cell. So that's nice. But yeah, so they're never really mentioned in the series again, but yeah, they are up to something evil with all the dark ego that is, that's on the island, and it's your pretty much duty to stop them. So, yeah, as so you can see over there, those little electric things, that is Blue Eco, but apparently Jack can't move. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, that's Blue Eco. Basically, throughout the game, Jack uh, will be able to collect all sorts of eco. I believe there's blue, red, green, and yellow eco. So, each eco has, their, has pretty much their own abilities. So, um, what's it called? Before I collect that blue eco, all I know is that blue eco pretty much gives you what's it called speed. So, let's get that blue eco. And what's it called? Since we have speed now, um, and this is like an electric field, all the precursor orbs in the area will be attracted to Jack, and plus, what's it called? He will be able to break crates without really touching them. And other than that, that's really the basis for Jack and Daxter. 
Now you might be wondering why why did I choose to let's play Jack and Daxter? This is kind of a really obscure series because ever since I want to say 2010, they haven't really had a sequel. I mean, I don't want to count places you move heroes. Oh God, no, I don't want to count that game. Uh, yeah, yeah. But other than that, they really haven't had a sequel. They've only had three main series games, and they've had Daxter, which was the PSP game. They had Jack um, Combat. Um, at Jack Combat X, I think it was called. It was like a racing game for the PS2. Fun game, but I don't own it anymore. And they had Jack and Daxter, The Lost Frontier, but, you know, the less I say about that game, the better. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was such a terrible game. But, yeah, they really haven't had a lot of games. And there was even going to be a reboot plan at one time for the PS3, but, you know, as you could tell, that never happened. So, yeah, Jack and Daxter are pretty much one of the PS2's main platforming mascots. And, well, for good reasons. Their games were really fun. And but plus also, I'm pretty sure everyone knows the really horrible story about how each game in the Jack and Daxter series has reinvented itself numerous times. Keeping they, they kept the same gameplay style, but in terms of like the story and the mood, oh yeah, yeah, this game series is really terrible with that. Like you'll see what's it called, like what I mean, like if I ever get into Jack 2, which I definitely will in the future. But this game series just does not really know how, um, how to tell its story. Like, you see right now, this game looks, like, really light hard. You know, the goal is really basic. You know, stop those guys from using all the dark eco. Travel through, like, all these really luscious and beautiful environments. And, yeah, I gotta say, for th this game was released, I believe, in the first or second year that the PS2 was out. And I gotta say, as a tenic um, oh, crap, whoa. Okay, that was kind of, okay, my controller's kind of, whoa. Okay, yeah, hold on, wait, yeah, cut for a second. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, my controllers have been really, really messing up. So I resorted to an old controller up there. And yeah, you might have noticed that I kind of moved up a little bit from, like, what's it called, where I was last time. Yeah, I kind of tested out my PS4 controller. And it's weird because, what's it called, but the analog sticks will work. But then whenever I try hitting, like, any of the buttons, like X, Circle, or Square, it would just completely crap out of me. And I really got to buy another PS3 controller because, like, right now I've had, I have four. And all of them just don't want to work. It's weird. See, so yeah, I got by it. Whoa. I never knew you could do that. I never knew you could press triangle. That's your first person view. But yeah, apparently you could do that. So other than that, yeah, that's really the that's really it for what's it called the um, tutorial level. I'm not going to lie. This is a really nice tutorial level. And plus also, I should also mention that the environments in the game are really, really big. So you can just go exploring and just see what you can find. It's really awesome. So either way though, we're done with the tutorial. Let's head back to Samos' hut. Or Green Sage's hut. Yeah, his name is Samos. But yeah, let's warp. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the maps. They'll take you right there. Now... All of you, get out of here! Okay, yeah, Samos, as you can tell, he's a big Russ. Let's talk to him again, actually. Okay, wait, we can't talk to him. Can't even punch him. Wow, this guy is solid as a rock. And yeah, for all you guys who know Naughty Dog, Naughty Dog are basically the guys who have been working with Sony since the 90s. They've made games like Crash Bandicoot, the Jack and Dax series, and the Uncharted series. So as you can tell, this plant over here is a reference to Crash Bandicoot because that this plant was in the games. So yeah, all you fans of Crash Bandicoot out there, just know that Naughty Dog still cared about back then about Crash Bandicoot. And you know, I know they're trying to rebuy the back now, but yeah, this is, this is when Crash Bandicoot was still at best okay. Well, I mean, I, might, well, I don't even know what to say because around, what's it called, um, uh, around this time, the only games that kind of came out were Crash 1, 2, 3, and t um, Team Racing. So other than that, Wrath of, um, Wrath of Cortex didn't come out. So, that's good, yeah. But yeah, let's go talk to Kira, actually. And let's go. Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-grab zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. 
Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Okay, thank you, Kier, for the very, very useful advice. So yeah, and that cuts. If that cutscene was any pretty, pretty much any indication, Daxter, I want to say is the comic release character, but in a game like this, which is supposed to be kind of like childish and fantasy, like I don't know, Daxter trying to be like the perverted type of guy, it just doesn't really work. Okay, so I'm gonna collect these precursor orbs, and then yeah. So as Samos and Kira said, some of the villagers in what's it called um in Sandover Village have power cells. So you have to, so sometimes you have to do a really simple task for them to get the power cell. Others, well, the task maybe isn't so simple. Some require you traveling in numerous places, but some require just paying up power cells. Ah, I meant precursor orbs. So let's talk to this guy. No, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boy. See them. See how they're not moving. That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing. If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. Damn it, this guy's a cheapskate. Okay, we don't have 90 precursor orbs, so we can't give him his contribution. We're 40 short. Wow, that's, that's nice. Okay, but yeah, Mayor, see you later. So as you can tell, now we got what's it called? Um, return the power on, which we we gotta go to what's it called? Um, the the forest temple like later on. But right now, let's just focus on what we could do in Sandover Village and the beach. Other than that, okay. So we went to that house. And we went to this house. Let's go to this house now. This guy looks like a nerd. Actually, no. This guy looks more like a, just one of those grandpas you see on the beach. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I was to set off on my journey yesterday. But I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them. But I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. 90 precursor orbs what is with these people asking for 90 really why not like 10 or 20 or like zero but ah crap okay so yeah apparently this guy is jack's uncle i think he's i think he's his uncle because he says hand your dear old uncle yeah 90 precursor orbs i'm not entirely sure about that yet but yeah so he's apparently his uncle let's go over here okay what does this guy have to say oh my what a horribly sick little bird you don't look so good yourself, lady. Oh, sorry. I thought you were a spotted orange bellied ring friend. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flut flut near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff, and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor, and I'll give you a power cell. Alright, now we have another quest from this old lady, which I actually kind of call the guy. Ooh, that's kind of bad. Okay, so normally we should probably get started on those um, side quests, but there's some other stuff we could do. Let's get this blue eco quickly, and now let's get all these precursor orbs. Nice, 65. Not what I wanted, but you know it's better than nothing. Okay, actually, let's talk... Uh, wait, before we talk to him, let's just get this other scouter fly because this could actually be used to us. Three. Okay, I have no many. I have no idea how many are in this area, but yeah. Let's talk to this rancher. Bef wait, wait, wait. First, wait. 
is there an option for subtitles? Um, let's go to game options. Okay, no. Sound options. No. Oh, there's no option for su Ooh, okay, there's no option for subtitles. That's kind of stupid. Oh, wait, whatever. All right, ah, come on. Okay, let's talk to him now. Mm, gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those hungry yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man and try to get them back into the corral? All right, now we gotta help this man get his yak cows. Yeah, what a really creative name over there. Back into the pen, uh, corral. So, pretty much the very simple thing to do. All I really gotta do is just guide the uh, yak cows back to the corral by pretty much punching them in the butt, and you're pretty much good. So I believe there's a total of like five or six yak cows, but other than that, yak cows are, like I said, they aren't really that hard to get into the pen. Come on, wrong way. Come on, come on, yak cow, get in there. Get in there, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's two. Now, okay, there's a third one, but there's some pre- Okay, we'll get those later. We'll get those things later. Oh, there's four, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, four yak cows. That isn't really that bad. Come on, yak cow. Come on. Wrong way. Wrong way. Yeah. Other way. Did we just deck that yak cow in the face? Holy crap. Come on, go. 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 Mush. Move. Oh, right, but yeah. Um, as I was trying to say before, that Jack is pretty much a silent protagonist in this. And I don't know whether or not a lot of people dig the sound protagonist motif, but I don't know. In this game, Daxter kind of runs his mouth a lot, and that kind of gets really annoying at times. Especially when Daxter's supposed to be this perverted uh, comedy character, and this game is kind of for kids. Later on, though, in the series, they give Jack a voice, and while I don't think it's kind of the best voice they could get for Jack, you know, it's at least tolerable. So right now, the only j the only thing Jack will pretty much just do say do or say is just grunt. And it's basically like, yeah, or yeah, like stuff like that. But yeah, Daxter is pretty much the one that talks. Everyone, everyone in this game talks except for Jack. Which, you know, I don't know what was like the 90s or early 2000s obsession with silent protagonists. But you know, voice acting now is like everything. And you know, the only game, the only games that still have silent protagonists are Nintendo games. Which, you know, I'm not saying it's bad. But, you know, I'm just saying that, you know, in a game where everyone else talks except for you, you know, you need voice acting. Okay, wait, the yak cows are back to corral. Let's talk to the farmer. Okay, farmer, what do you guys say? Ah, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this parasol for your trouble. And, yeah, fifth power cell. We're only five power cells in. I have, I forgot how many power cells there are in the game, but all I know is that there is a lot. Wait, does it say? 